In a survey of 674 U.S. male ages 18 to 64, 396 says that they gone to the dentist last year. They are constructing 95% confidence interval for population proportionate. Very good. Remember the steps that we need to take. First, we need to find the point estimate, p hat. Then we need to verify that this is actually a normal distribution, finding the critical values using a table or calculator, find a margin of error following the formula, and then finding the endpoints. P hat in this case is x divided by n, the number of people who said they actually went to dentist past year, which is 396 over 674, which is going to be about 58.80% or 0.588. The 95% confidence interval is p hat plus minus zc or critical value times square root of p hat q hat divided by n. p hat from top is 0.588 plus minus. The critical value for 95% level of confidence is 1.96. And here you have square root of 0.588 times 0.412 divided by the total number of people in the survey, which is 674. When we simplify this, we get the lower bound as 0.551 or 55.10%, comma, 0.625 or 62.50%. Let's take a look at our calculator. In using your calculator, you're going to go to stat, tests, and then find one proportion Z interval, everybody. This is super important, one proportion Z interval. Once you click on that, X is 396, N is 674, based off of the information. Level of confidence is 95%. And once you do the computation, it gives you the lower bound and upper bound. And when you compare it with the algebra that you did, you see they are very close to each other. 